what we're showing here is uh, we've uh, put a, uh, a resharpened and shimmed blade beam and blade onto our straight edge table and uh, we just lower the straight edge down onto the blade right near the very tip which of course is the cutting edge and now we're going to use a two thousandths of an inch uh, um, feeler gauge and uh, show you uh, how correct or incorrect this blade is. We're now checking uh, this uh, warm blade with a two thou feeler gauge and you'll see that on the outside edges we intentionally do this so that the blade goes up on one side it doesn't gouge into the ice on the other side. There's a spot there which will mark off on the blade approximately four inches it'll take two thousandths of an inch feeler gauge and there's another spot another about six inches and another spot and this goes right out to the end now once this blade has been cooled which we will do and we will put it in the freezer cool it down to about 35 degrees and recheck it again and this has already been done on this blade at any rate so uh, we're going to cool it then we'll recheck it and uh, see if it's uh, within the tolerance of two thousandths of an inch from uh, 54 inches on the inside of the blade. Now we're showing the uh, the markings here where the blade was out once it's uh, at room temperature. It's two thou from this area to here. It's two thou from this area to here. And it's two thou from there to there. Now that would uh, cause the ice to be uh, uneven and uh, definitely cause the curling stones to run rather than curl properly. We're going to uh, put this uh, blade into the freezer now and bring the temperature down to 35 degrees and we will check it again uh, and see wh whether it is in fact uh, come back to uh, to a straight blade. Now that the blade is cooled down to approximately 35 degrees, we'll put it back onto the uh, straight edge table and check it again. Now that the blade is cooled down to 35 degrees, you'll note that the two thou gauge goes in about three inches and nowhere down the center except for the other end of course where we've uh, ramped it up so that it doesn't gouge your ice so you can see how much change has occurred on this blade just by cooling it to uh, the temperature that you would be uh, have it at when you scrape the uh, curling ice.